Hey folks, welcome back to another video. There is one question I get all the time when I show some of my generative presets uh, on the YouTube channel. And the question is basically, how do I get all these different sound sources from within the grid onto separate channels into in Bitwig Studio? How can I mix these into different channels? So I want to give you basically um, um, a hint or a guide how to do this because I get this question all the time and now I have basically a video up to show people how to do it. So first up you need of course some kind of generative patch. So I go here for the last one, Cosmic Drift. Uh, so let's hit play. So in here we have multiple sound sources. We have percussions, we have melody, we have funky bass and everything is mixed together in the grid and it comes out of the device just as one single audio output. So what people want now is they want to have percussions on a different channel, maybe here on a different track, right? And also the funky bass maybe. So let's go here for funky bass and let's go here for uh, percussions. So how do you do this? Um, so there's not not really a native way of doing this, uh, but there's a hack around for since the beginning of the grid. So in version four, I think we got here the note output, which is pretty fine, but there's no audio output, no real audio output. I mean, there is some stuff on here, um, some IO stuff. Um, let me see, it's up here. Um, so we have audio sidechain input. That's the hardware output here, but nothing really gives you a separate audio output that you can use on different channels. So what you do basically is um, to start here with the percussions. You can see it's going here out of the grid. So what we do now is we just cut this off because we don't want to have percussions uh, coming out as the sum or mixed together with the rest. So we cut this off. So now when we hit play, the percussion is missing. Right, so we cut this off. So what we do now is we go into the FX box here and we say everything that we use here for processing the whole sum goes into an FX layer with Control and G. And we rename this here to sum. So here's basically everything now in there that's not percussion because the percussion is you know cut off here from the output. And then we use an audio split. Uh, or it's called stereo split. Yeah, stereo split. So we go over the audio output. Instead of the output, we go into the stereo split and we split this here on left, right, middle and side channel. And then we use a modulator output because modulation is audio rate at audio rate in Bitwig. So we can just util utilize basically the modulation here for uh, transferring audio signals. So now we have the left channel here and the right channel here. We can also rename this, of course. So let's use left here. Let's use right here and then in here we create another track with a tool device and you can see we already here now audio output which is not what we want we want to cut this off because there's still audio coming out here right and going into the fx layer onto all of these channels but here we want to mute this just um yeah make this smaller and let's call this here percussion so now after the tool device, after we muted this, we insert here a grid audio out preset. And this preset you can download in the description below. It's basically also an FX layer with a DC offset pen to the left and pen to the right and pen to the middle here. So nothing complicated, but you can download it in the description below. So now we have this grid audio out here and you can see we have some remotes here, left, right mono, and we just connected the left to the left. Uh, 100%, right, 100%. So now we have the audio output of the percussion generator here on the second track or on this layer. Okay, so this is exactly what we want. So we duplicate this, we name this now Funky Bass and we have to remove here the modulation. And then we duplicate this and do the same here for the funky bass. So here we cut the funky bass off of the sum, put this here into the split. 
and now we modulate the left 100%, right 100%. Okay. So now we can hit play. We have the sum. Oh, it's actually only the melody left now. It's only the melody. We can call this melody now. We have the percussion here on a different channel and the funky bass. And you can start to mix here basically with this FX layer now, the different sources if you want to. But usually what you want to do is you want to have this on different tracks. So at the moment, funky bass, melody and percussion is on this first track still because we have this here still in this FX layer. So what we have to do now is we mute this. Uh, we mute these two channels, percussion and funky bass, and we leave the melody here untouched because we want to have it still on the first track. And then we can go here to the percussion channel, use input, and instead of my microphone or audio inputs, I'm selecting here down from the tracks submenu. As you can see, tracks, right? Go to generative. Generative devices, chains, FX, layer chains, and then you can see we have your percussions, melody, funky bass. And you want to grab basically the pre fader because the fader pulls down the audio, right? Because we want to mute it on the first channel. So we grab the pre fader. As you can see here, also it's disabled here, right? Here's audio, here's disabled. So we grab the pre here. Oh, that's, that's percussion, right? Oh, we need to grab percussion. So now we have percussion here on this channel and here we grab uh, generative, chains, FX, FX layers, uh, funky bass pre. It's pretty loud actually. Don't know why but it is how it is. So now we have this basically already in the track here, right? We have separate mixing channels. Maybe you have to pull down here the, the volume on the first track. Let me see. Let's modulate this less here, maybe the 60% or to... Oh, let, let's leave it on 100%. I think it's better to have this on 100% and go into the patch itself and uh, use here an amplifier. Let's pull this down here a bit. So we can go back here to normal. It's probably because you have some kind of um, distortion device I have on there. Okay. So uh, back to arrange. So we can start now to record all of the stuff. Um, so let's. Uh, yeah, this is armed. Actually, uh, start this at the same time. So right, so we have now here percussions as an audio track and the funky bass separately. And you can start to mix this with the mixer or maybe record stuff or whatever you want to do. So this is the easiest and quickest solution I know to get different audio outputs from the grid. So all you have to do is cut off the audio from the uh, device output, use then a split, use two modulators, uh, create an FX layer, and the FX layer you use basically the grid audio output, a tool device to mute the uh, pass through here from the grid output. And then modulate left, right, or just mono. If you want to have, if you have a mono source, then you just need one modulator, of course. And then you can mute the channels in here, and then you create multiple outputs, uh, multiple audio channels, and then you grab basically on here on the input um, these devices from the 
track drop down, right? FX chains here, and then you have everything laid out. You can grab this. And this is the best way I know. And then you can basically have just one grid creating all these sound sources, all this stuff. Uh, but you still have everything on separate channels where you can mix it and record it and use it for whatever you want to use it. So in here, we just can use probably some kind of um, kick drum. Um, maybe I use here my Rob, Rob Acid kick drum. Um, hit play. Maybe on the master here, yeah, my fancy auto leveler. Yeah, and then you can put effects here on the percussions and on the bass, maybe you can play around with this. So it's a neat way of doing this and I want to have a video online basically where I can link people uh, this video and explain how it's done because I get this question all the time. <laughs> so yeah, that's it basically. So if you liked the video or if you uh, found it interesting, then please leave a like. Um, hit me with the comments, with the questions and uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.